Hi viewers, DNA Warm welcomes you. This video details about the India's largest economic stimulus package called Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan, means self-reliant India campaign, announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on 12th May 2020. It is an economic package of 20 lakh crores, which is 10% of India's GDP. The Union Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman gave the breakdown of the package in four phases in the press conference and the same has been listed on the screen. In 20 lakh crores, 1.7 lakh crores already spent on free cash and food distribution in the month of March. 5.7 lakh crores allocated for RBI liquidity infusion measures. 5.94 lakh crores allocated for micro, small and medium enterprises, employees, taxpayers, non-banking financial sectors and power distributors. 3.16 lakhs crores allocated for migrant workers, street vendors, small farmers and urban poor. 1.63 lakh crores allocated for agriculture and allied activities. 0.58 lakh crores allocated for various sectors like coal, mineral, civil aviation, defense, power distribution and space. 1.2 lakh crores unallocated, may be allocated in upcoming days. Now let's see each allocations and its beneficiaries in detail. Allocation 3 around 5.94 lakh crores. Beneficiary 3A MSME stands for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises. 3 lakh crores of collateral free loans for MSMEs to restart work and save job. Additional 20,000 crore for debt provision to help 2 lakhs underperforming companies and 50,000 crore for equity infusion via funds of funds, letting only domestic firms to bid for government procurements of up to 200 crores. Beneficiary 3B Non-Banking Financial Lenders 30,000 crore for Special Liquidity Investment Scheme and 45,000 crore for Partial Credit Guarantee Schemes to protect non-banking financial lenders. Beneficiary 3C Employees 2,500 crores allocated to EPF contribution. The government will pay PF for another three months till August. The companies are asked to reduce the PF contribution from 24% to 20% for next three months. This helps company to save some money and employees to do little sacrifice on their retirement savings. Beneficiary 3D Power Distribution Companies 9,000 crores for power distribution companies to pay their dues and default payments to power producers. Beneficiary 3E Taxpayers A reduction of 25% of existing rates of TDS and TCS till March 31st, 2021. This will release rupees 50,000 crores from government income. Allocation 4 Around 3.16 lakh crores. Beneficiary 4A migrant workers from other state. 3,500 crores for 8 core migrant workers to get free grains from ration shops without ration cards for next 2 months. Beneficiary 4B Mudra Sishu Loaners 1,500 crores to benefit Mudra Sishu Loaners by reducing 2% interest rate on the loan availed up to rupees 50,000 under Mudra Sishu scheme. Beneficiary 4C Street vendors, 5,000 crores allocated to give a loan of rupees 10,000 for 5 million street vendors. Beneficiary 4D, tribals, rupees 6,000 crore allocated for tribal people to get employment in, fo in forest management, wildlife protection, and other forest-related activities. Beneficiary 4E, housing sector. 70,000 crores allocated to build houses to sell in credit-linked subsidy scheme for middle-class income group of rupees 6 to 18 lakhs per annum. Beneficiary 4F Small and Marginal Farmers 30,000 crores allocated for cap capital emergency funds to give loans to small and marginal farmers. 2 lakh crores allocated to give loans to 2.5 crore PM Kisan credit card holders. Allocation 5 Around 1.63 lakh crores Beneficiary 5A Farmgate Infrastructure 
one lakh crore allocated for strengthening farm gate infrastructure like cold storage facilities food grain storage centers etc to benefit primary agriculture societies aggregators startups etc beneficiary 5b micro food enterprises 10000 crores allocated for micro food scheme to scale up up to 2 lakh micro food enterprises beneficiary 5c marine and inland fisheries 20000 crores allocated for development of marine and inland fisheries which will lead to an additional fish production of 70 lakh tons in next 5 years and provide employment to 50 lakh people beneficiary 5d domestic animals 13343 crores allocated for vaccination to protect domestic animals from diseases beneficiary 5e dairy sector 15000 crores allocated to ramp up dairy infrastructure and also investments will be made in cattle feed beneficiary 5f ayurvedic sector 4000 crores allocated to plant herbal and medicinal plants which will provide income of nearly rupees 5000 crores for farmers beneficiary 5g honey farms 500 crores allocated to help 2 lakh beekeepers to increase the honey production beneficiary 5h supply chain sector 500 crores allocated for top to total scheme to repair supply chains that have disturbed due to lockdown allocation 6 around 58000 crores beneficiary 6a private players or corporates 58000 crores will be spent on structural reforms across various sectors like coal mining defense manufacturing civil aviation power space and atomic energy private players will be allowed to explore these sectors and few new measures also would be introduced to increase revenue to conclude This package is mostly of easy bank loans and future developments. Package doesn't give direct cash to poor, but free food grains are promised so far. The merits and demerits of each section of economic package will be explained in detail in part 2 of this video. Kindly do not miss it as it is important for every citizen to understand where the country is heading us. Thank you. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching it. Please subscribe and click on the bell button for more updates. Kindly give a thumbs up for this video and do share with your friends.